Developing at 4.30, investigators have now identified the motel owner killed in a shooting as 64-year-old Dan Wade. Titusville police say a guest shot him while he was sitting in the courtyard of the Siesta Motel. The victim's brother tells News 6's James Barvero the motel owner went above and beyond to show his hospitality to the suspect only to be killed. So it doesn't make any sense. Senseless to Mark Wade because he says his brother Dan couldn't have been nicer to the long-term guest staying at the Siesta Motor Inn. Danny found out that he didn't have any family here to celebrate his birthday. And so Danny and his wife Mimi fixed him a birthday cake and got some of the other guests together and had him a birthday party. And, and he was so appreciative. That was last week. Then on Wednesday, Dan's wife Mimi, who shared this picture of her late husband with us, tells us for no apparent reason that man staying in room number three since June came out with a gun and approached the owner and a housekeeper sitting at this table. Danny thought it was a joke, they said, and he said, I hope that's not what it looks like. And then the guy fired the first shot, which missed Danny, and then he fired the second shot, which killed him. Police say the housekeeper's life was spared because the shooter's gun jammed. Police caught up to the man after he drove away and say gunfire was exchanged and then the suspect shot himself in the head. He was hospitalized in critical condition and police still have not formally released his name. Police say no officers were shot and the gunman will face numerous charges if he lives. Danny was the one that everybody liked. Danny was the one they called the host the most because he was so good to everyone who came here to the motel. Mark Wade happens to be a Titusville motel owner too. He tells us he's now going to help his brother's widow with running the business. In Titusville, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.